Excited about uh, it being my first win as a Division One head coach. Uh, guys gave me a little celebration <laughs> in the locker room and uh, gave me the game ball. Uh, but on the floor, I was um, uh, especially happy in the first half um, with how we played. Uh, in the second half, um, thought we got a little careless um, and got a little bit too much one-on-one uh, -on -one and uh, felt like I had to call a timeout to address it because I think one of the things we're really good at is playing team basketball. And when we're moving the basketball, uh, everything looks, looks a lot better. Uh, but at the same time, understanding each other's uh, strength and uh, weaknesses. But at the end of the day, it's a win. Uh, and I'm happy, excited, and um, ready to move on to the next. Alan, did you want to pound it inside of Jordan as much as you guys did kind of early on? I mean, he was able to dominate there for a good stretch. It kind of helped you guys get going a little bit. Well, uh, I think we're just in the process of scouting the team, um, you look at you know their size, and you know sometimes they play with a six six, six seven post kid. And I think one of the areas uh, Jordan has really uh, matured uh, in a sense of being able, uh, a guy that we can throw it to in the post and uh, be able to go uh, get buckets. Or if a guy plays them one on one, I think he's more than capable. Uh, but you know, it was the mindset of our, our team going in to, to get him some early touches. But at the same time, um, understanding that whether you know, he's play, getting played one-on-one -on -one or someone blisses us, we still, you know, have something to uh, give him uh, just, just with our outside ability to shoot the basketball, to be honest with you. You mentioned that Jordan Robbins matured from last year to this year. How so? Um, just uh, uh, mentally. And I think um, with how we're trying to play going forward, it helps him. Uh, one of the biggest things I got on him about coming back was just being able to run because um, he's very long, does a great job of protecting the rim. Um, anything around the rim, if he has an opportunity, I think he uh, tries to finish uh, aggressively. Uh, but at the same time, if you throw it in, you know, he's a guy that can play with his back to the basket. So, you know, we've, uh, as a staff, um, have just, just, just tried to give our guys um, uh, confidence in the areas that they're good in. Coach, you a lot of your bench tonight. Saw a lot of different, different things from your players. Explain the decision to use most of your bench and get guys in so you can see them. Um, well, again, early on, you know, I, I coached it like I was going to coach a, a regular game. Um, maybe the only guy that didn't uh, scratch in the first half was Andrew Mameka, but he, he, he's going to be uh, within the rotation as well. But again, like I've told our team, I think that's our strength right now is our ability to play um, uh, a number of guys. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it's our job as a staff to figure out within the game who's playing well uh, that night and maybe who's not playing up to par, not playing bad, so to speak. But, you know, some night one guy may have it going like Jordan had a really good night tonight. But at the same time, I thought uh, Alex uh, Gorsi had a really good night tonight. So we kind of rode him a little bit. But there's going to be nights where uh, Justin James has a good night and he may play more minutes or uh, Lewis Adams. Um, uh, but, I mean, I can call out a lot of guys' names that from night to night, it, it's going to be a different guy. It's not going to be the same guy every time. Alan, I mean, this is the first time I got to see Lou Adams play extensively. And, uh, you know, he showed a couple of athletic moves tonight. He could defend. Mm -hmm. he could certainly, he's got jumping ability. He could drive to the basket. But is, was it fair to say that the, the final part of his game to cut around was probably going to be his shooting? And did you anticipate that being better? Um, well, I, I think at, at Lou, Lou and Justin, what I believe with our team, we have guys that can shoot the basketball. We have a guy in Naughton that can score with his back to the basket. Um, and I think Lou Adams and Justin James are guys that uh, probably are, are better drivers. But at the same time, I expect them to shoot wide open jump shots as well. Um, but I, I know that they understand their game, that they're not going to shoot six, seven, eight of them. Um, but, you know, again, I've seen Lou uh, within a practice go four for six, you know. So I'm more about the ball moving, um, being in a, a assertive mode. But if your feet are ready and you're set and we're penetrating and you're kicking and nobody's around you, shoot the basketball. Is that the, with the pace and the aggressiveness that you spoke about before the season? Did you 
Uh, yeah, I saw it. I mean, I'm still uh, with them in a sense of getting it up maybe a little quicker. And again, I, I, I've used the word more assertive uh, than aggressive. Uh, but at the same time, the other thing I, I've been hitting them with is getting the ball moving. I think sometimes even if you're coming down and it may not be there, but for you to just bounce, bounce it four or five times, that's not good for us. Just get the, give, give the ball to somebody else, cut through, move. And if we keep moving and we find each other and play unselfish basketball, um, again, I, I, I tell our guys at the end of the day, I'm not concerned about misses and makes. I'm concerned about the shot. Was it a good shot or a bad shot? Any uh, update on uh, Jason Manman when he went down with the injury there? I know we didn't leave him, but any, any post-residual uh, well, Lance, <laughs> our trainer hasn't said anything to me. Um, but Jason's a tough kid. He's a tough kid. Um, if, if something was wrong, he, he would have said something. So I, I wouldn't expect it to be anything wrong. Alan, with the, the pace you want to play with this team, you satisfied with 11 turnovers? Uh, actually, to, 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 to think about what we're trying to do, I mean, if you think about last year and years before when we played probably a little bit slower um, or conservative, I guess, you know, our goal was always 10, 10 turnovers. We wanted to always be under 10. So to try to play with a little bit more up tempo to have 11, I think that's a really good thing. Um, um, but, you know, at the same time, again, I care about getting it up and down the floor a little bit, but being more. Uh, assertive. And if you think back to our Shattering State game, I think we had about 17. So, you know, going from that game, which we addressed uh, in a few days of practice of taking care of the basketball, so to go down from 17 to 11, I think is pretty good. When you're pushing the bases as much as you guys are, you talk about turnovers and limiting them in years past. Is there a number of, or is there an acceptable trade off that in terms of, you know, I will concede that playing this kind of style of ball, yeah. we're probably going to turn the ball over. Yeah, well, well that's, that's what I, I talk to our guys about. it. I, I just care more about it being careless versus uh, assertive. If we're, if we're turning the ball over, trying to do something uh, within what we're capable of doing, then I'm okay with that. But when we're careless and just making silly or stupid, I, was, I shouldn't say stupid, but um, uh, when we're trying to make home, home run plays, um, uh, I'm more concerned about that. So we clip those type of plays to where, you know, it wasn't even pressure that caused it. It wasn't even this that they did on defense that caused it. It was more self-inflicted than what they did. But if we're playing down here and we're playing aggressive and we're moving the basketball and the guy turns the ball over, I'm, I'm okay with that because I, I don't want guys to be uh, hesitant. I don't want I, I don't want I don't want guys to be hesitant. I think it's a nine-point game midway through the first one. Blue Adams threw down that dunk. What kind of spark did that, that give you guys? Because it seemed like you really opened up the game and really put it on about it. Um, if I can remember, I, I want to say I, I called a timeout right before that. And one of the things I hit them with in the huddle was more about just playing, <laughs> playing team basketball. Uh, we ran that play a little bit earlier in the half, and J.J. took it. And I thought it was more of a conservative move by him. Um, and when Lou ran it, my thing is you attack the rim. If somebody steps up, then you make the next best play. But, you know, I think plays like that, no, no different than you know guys making three-point shots. But what I try to get our guys to understand is offense is going to be offense for us. But at the end of the day, that same activity or energy that you get when you see a dunk or a three-point shot, same thing when you get a charge. Same thing when we get three stops. Same thing when we uh, get an 80-20 ball. All those things should, should uh, ignite our fire as well. Quick turnaround going to Montana now. What will that be like for this group? Um, it actually, it, 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 tell me a little bit more about my team, to be honest with you. Um, oh, I'm sorry, our team. Tell me a little bit more about us. Uh, we're on the road uh, against a very, very good opponent, um, uh, a well-coached team. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we'll, we'll probably take it a little bit easy tomorrow. Um, probably be more brain food than it is physical contact. Uh, get on the floor uh, Sunday and uh, work and then uh, get ready to uh, go play a, a tough opponent on the road. Alan, you did a lot of good things tonight. You won the game that was 40 points. You shot the ball well, rebounded well. What, if anything, do you take out of this game that, from what you saw on the court tonight that you think, you know, you said, we've got to get better at this? Um, 
<laughs> I don't want to be a nitpick guy with our guys. Um, one of the things I did tell them about was free throws, uh, 12 for 18. I thought that was a downfall, especially uh, with the way we've been shooting them uh, in practice. Um, I think we've been shooting it actually over 80% as a group. Um, that would be one thing I think uh, we would hit on. Um, and then the other thing, I, I think I just got to keep reiterating how we want to play and how we want to play unselfish basketball. Because I feel when we play that way, uh, I think we could be a good team. Uh, and at the same time, conversely, on the defensive end of the floor, you know, we have to ha play with energy. We have to play with activity. Um, we have to be a scrappy uh, basketball team. Like I said earlier, I get excited as a coach more about some of the things that we do on the defensive end of the floor versus some of the things that we do on the offensive, floor, offensive end of the floor. How much more confident do you feel this year than, I know it's only one game, but uh, how much more confident do you feel this year than last year? You play very confident. Um, Confidence-wise, I'd say I'm about the same. I'm, I've always tried to play with a lot of energy and a lot of confidence and just do what I'm supposed to do and basically just bring what I can to the team as much as possible. So I, I wouldn't say I was more or less confident in this game than any other because I try to bring it in each game. It seemed like that was kind of the philosophy coming in. You take advantage of your size down low. I know you got some putbacks, but is that kind of the game plan? Or? Uh, yeah, seemingly so because uh, we had a couple of plays ran for me just uh, and you know my teammates around me they helped me out a lot just executing the plays and I had a lot of shooters around me so they couldn't really help too much on me without getting penalized from three so uh, it, it worked out really well for us and we just executed pretty well. How much did the way that you got shot from three in the first half hold the place up on the side for you? I mean I'd say it helped a lot because obviously they can't help too much without uh, with that, the threat of a three from the outside and everything because we have shooters around us and uh, I was just trying to do my job and finish around the rim like I, I do in practice all the time, so. It seems, it seems like on the defensive side of things, you guys are all crashing the boards to get, get the rebound more than you did last year. Is that something that has been talked about? You want to answer the question? I mean, yeah, definitely. Uh, that was one of the things that we uh, try to focus on after the Shattering State game in Torrington. And uh, we still give up quite a bit of um, defensive rebounds, but uh, it's definitely one of the, you know, points of emphasis. I think it's going to be one of those rules where a couple minutes ago, they get through off the three-point line. It's going to end. That's just yeah. really It's like the wall is going to go in. You know, where does that make? You know it's going to go in. Yeah, I mean, it's always fun making shots and stuff. Um, I didn't even think too much about it, just playing, uh, just happy, you know, they were helping a lot in the lane on our drives, and JJ, Lou, Hayden, uh, and they did a good job finding me outside. Is this, is this style of play this year, which is a departure from last year, do you think this suits your game better? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> maybe. It's too early to say. Western State was standing around there in the first half with its single to its couple possessions. <laughs> and then Lewis Adams comes down and throws down that dunk, and it seemed like from that point on, was where you guys really started playing with a lot more energy and started really putting some distance between yourselves and them going into the half. It, it, how, if at all, did that, did that dunk kind of spark you guys and give you the energy? I mean, we try not to let our offense, you know, dictate how, how aggressively and how, how, how good we play. Um, but I mean, it's always great to get in the crowd involved, and, and that definitely helped us getting stops and get out to run. And, you know, it was a good atmosphere to play in. As a, as a shooter, how much nicer is it that when you do have that post presence, so when you're getting the ball, you're getting it straight on, it's not you know, swinging around the outside and everything, it's just basically catch and shoot? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, um, we got a couple of guys inside that, you know, people have to, they have to help on, and it really opens up things for me, and it's, you know, I don't have to do much, I just stand there and just ready to shoot it. Uh, and they, could, they do a gr uh, great job of finding me as well, so it's good. You guys use a lot of your bench tonight. Is that another thing that you guys talked about? Did, did you know Coach was going to do that? I, I did yeah, okay. Well, yeah, you, you mentioned before the game, like, the starting lineup can change from any, from game to game, and he plans on playing a lot of us, so we just basically all have to be ready, and when our name is called, just uh, be ready to go in the game and be able to affect it in a positive way, just do your job, basically. How does it feel to kind of get things off under a new era with the 
victory. Just to get one for Coach Edwards. I know last week you get a win, but didn't officially count. Uh, yeah. It's 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 always uh, it's always a great time winning, especially at home. Uh, started off the right way. Hopefully we can build off of that going forward. Um, yeah, I think I think it was overall good good victory to start off with, and got Montana on Monday. You got to focus on that now. Yeah. We we more so, you know, hyped him up. You know, tried gave him the game ball and stuff. His first victory as a as a head coach. Um, yeah, that's about it. Career high points, rebounds, almost career high minutes. Were you, were you getting a little tired out there at times? I mean, still working into the season. Um, I felt pretty good out there. Uh, I was played with a little bit of a back injury. Well, not an injury, but it was kind of it's been bothering me a little bit. But it's not too uh, serious or anything. But other than that, I felt pretty good out there, and I was playing just confidently and how I know how to play. From last year, you, know, you definitely showed flashes of what you could do. You know, but coming into this season, what kind of things were you thinking you needed to work on and improve upon in order to you know, build upon what you did last season? <coughs> Well, one thing that I was making a strong, uh, put a strong emphasis on getting better at in the off season was getting in shape so I could run up and down the floor, and just get, uh, just get used to being able to play up and down like we want to in transition and uh, and finish around the rim especially because that's what I put mainly there for on offense and on defense, just being a better rim protector and things like that. In terms of getting in shape, is that just a matter of? This is the style you need to get in shape for the style you guys are going to play. Or were there times last year where you felt like you know you could have played better had you been in better shape? I'd say a little bit of both uh, in that situation because last year I could have been in better shape, and this year, obviously, since we want to get out and run in transition more and, and play a little faster and fast-paced, it would definitely help with just being able to find time on the floor if I'm in better shape. Are you there yet? I'd say so. Anka, you mentioned a quick turnaround. What's that going to be like for this team now going right back? Out? Sorry, repeat that. Uh, you mentioned the turnaround. Oh, Montana. yeah. What's mm -hmm. that going to be like going right back out now? Uh, this time on the road at Montana. I mean, I'm guessing, I'm guessing we're going to be in tomorrow, um, do some scouting on them, watch some film, uh, practice, and then same thing on Sunday. And then we head out to, to Montana to play on Monday. Uh, it's always tough. Just what is it, three-day turnaround? Uh, I mean, that's how conference is, so we just got to get ready for it.